welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. Now, for some of you building Oracle Math applications, this may be your first exposure to Oracle JDeveloper. So let's take a few minutes and we'll show you around the IDE and then we can show you how you can start creating your very first Oracle Math mobile application. So this is JDeveloper, and JDeveloper is an integrated development environment, or IDE, for building applications. And you can build different kinds of applications in JDeveloper, but of course we're going to be focusing on how you build mobile applications. When you open up JDeveloper, you'll see a number of different windows that show different views of the application and project files that you're working on. First of all, we have the application navigator. And this panel shows you the files, folders and projects that make up your application. It also allows you to select different workspaces that you might be working on. Next is the main window where we often edit code. This could be Java or JavaScript, XML or a host of other types of source code. And depending on what you're editing, for example Java code or a math page, JDeveloper may present you with a code view or a visual or a declarative view of your source. On the right hand side we have a palette of components that can be dragged and dropped into the current main window. And this might typically be the UI components you will be working on such as checkboxes or buttons or for diagrams such as page flows it might be pages and navigation rules. And you also have properties. So for example, a button component might have properties such as a label, color, etc. And you can set these here. You have a message window, which alerts you to any errors during compilation or deployment. And finally, there's a data control palette where you can define data services for your application. Now JDeveloper will often intelligently hide and show windows in the context of the task that you're currently undertaking. Or you could accidentally close a window. So if you need to reopen a window, you can achieve this via the window menu and navigate then to the required window. Or if you select window, then reset to factory settings if you want to completely reset the window layout. So you're ready to create your first Oracle Math application. So what do you need to do? Well, first of all, simply select File from the top level menu bar in JDeveloper and you'll be presented with the new gallery. Select Mobile Application Framework Application and then click OK. JDeveloper will then allow you to define some basic information about the application, including its name, the default package name, and the directory structures. By default, two projects are created here, one called Application Controller and one View Controller. A project is simply a container for your application source code. So let's look at why you get two. Now the default application JDeveloper creates for you has two projects. Now there's nothing to stop you adding other projects, and you probably will, but the default is two. The first of these is called Application Controller by default. Now generally speaking this project will contain any configuration files used for describing and configuring the overall application. And as a rule you would use this project for any source files you develop that are shared across all parts of the application. For example some common helper code or code that participates in the complete life cycle of the app. The View Controller project is where you would typically start developing the application pages and the features and functionality around those pages. So that could be pages of the mobile application itself, configuration files, business logic and Java files, icons or even images. Now when you run a mobile application, you may have noticed some application characteristics. For example, the application has a name that you'll see next to its launch icon. A math application can also make use of an inbuilt menuing system which uses something called a springboard or a navigation bar or sometimes called a nav bar. Now 
you can define the name of your application and decide which pages of your application you want to appear on the springboard or the nav bar. All of this information is defined in an application configuration file called math-application.xml. Now this file lives under the application resources panel in the JDeveloper application navigator. So let's double click on this file and have a look at what it offers. Firstly, there's general information about the application. Here you can define the name of the application as it appears on your device. You can also define a unique ID in the form or of a reverse package name. Now, this helps prevent any naming collisions and ensures that an application called, for example, customers is unique within your organization or unique across any organizations which may also develop a similarly named application. You can also define the display behavior of the springboard and the navigation bar, when they appear, how they appear, and various other factors like the animation when the springboard appears. You can then define which device features such as phone, camera, SMS, emails, contact, etc. are accessible to the application. So by default, the application locks down access to device features. Each feature can request if it needs access to a particular device characteristic, such as SMS. Then at the application level, you can decide if you want to grant access to that particular feature. This next tab is where you can see which features are included in your application and define whether the feature should appear on the navigation bar or on the springboard. Next is preferences, and this is something you'll learn about later, but it's the ability to define placeholders or variables that can be set at runtime by the user. Your application code can then reference these variables or placeholders, and so can access the preference that's been chosen by the user. For example, you might define a preference for a field color, which the user can set it and choose at runtime. Then in your code, all the text field will use this preference for the value of their background color, for example. Security is, of course, a topic in its own right, but this is where you can start configuring it for your application. Firstly, you can define whether you want to use the default login page or you want to use a custom login page to authenticate your users. Next, you can define which features are authenticated against which login servers. And you can further define any URLs or domains that your application may access which can be designated to a whitelist, meaning that they are safe to be opened within the application. The last option relates to an advanced topic, and that's the support of something called plugins. And this allows you to integrate third-party native add-ons, such as, for example, barcode scanning. So that was a very quick tour around the mathapplication.xml file, which allows you to configure the application level information in your app. You've also had a very quick tour around the JDeveloper IDE and created an empty math application with a couple of default projects. So I hope this has been useful for you. Please join us again for the next episode and thank you very much for watching.